However, I am not, uh, I'm not that optimistic when it comes to the Commission's willingness to, uh, to change their perspective and to move towards the harm reduction uh, point of view in, in their vision of both the Tobacco Excise Directive and also the Tobacco Products Directive. I think uh, it was uh, pretty much highlighted when I asked the Commission a written, uh, an oral question, a written question uh, procedure, uh, when I asked them how they see the ban on the Swedish uh, lip tobacco snus in light of their uh, anti-cancer plan, and I got an ignorant answer uh, claiming uh, that tobacco for oral use is addictive and has adverse health effects, including cancers, which is scientifically false. I mean, it's been 20 years since it's no longer allowed to, to claim on, on uh, these products that they are uh, causing cancer because there's no scientific uh, claim uh, to be made of such things. And still, to this day, uh, the European Commission insists to to use this as an uh, argument, which I think is pretty significantly uh, telling us that they're not not going to have any interest in, 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 uh, in having a more uh, positive approach towards nicotine products that aren't uh, including tobacco.